when you're looking at a canvas of a painting, you cannot say that one half of the painting or one corner of the painting is more the painting than the rest of the painting. It's seamless. Now there might be a tree to the left side of the painting and a crying child to the right side of the painting and a smiling sun in the right corner of the painting, but none of these appear apart from the sky and the tree and the child and the sun. It is a seamless appearing. Right? So yes, ultimately even the appearing is not appearing. But any any level up to that stage, it's important to realize that if we do assume that the appearance of creation is, we must at least take it as it is. And when you begin to live life more and more as it is, meaning clear of assumptions, being able to be with what is, as it is, not labeling it anything, not describing it anything, opening your mind's ear, listening while you're watching. Can you listen to that which you're witnessing? So purely, so pristinely present to that which you are observing that it is as if perhaps you know the experience when you think someone called your name but you're not quite sure. Maybe you're watching a movie or maybe there's a, a lot of noise outside or a lot of people, but you thought you heard your mother call your name. For the following three seconds, you are the most concentrated that you've ever been in your life. Trying to wait for that next call of your voice and isolating it above all else. Just for a few seconds, you maintain pristine concentration because there's no other intention but to see if your name was indeed being called. So can you listen with that intensity, with that nakedness to whatever it is you're witnessing? And if you can do that with one thing or item or event, you can over time begin to expand that to not be focused on one thing, but be focused on life itself, the allness of it, the wholeness of it, the Brahman of it, the godliness of it, the oneness of it. So that now you're listening as if you're listening to your mother calling your voice in the middle of a crowd, completely zoomed in, yet simultaneously with that same purity, nakedness and concentration, you are completely expanded into an awareness of the oneness of all and you're listening to life as it is humming, as it is beaming, as it is being, as it is appearing. Seamlessly, not creating this or that, not separating yourself out from the oneness of all that is. And then to lose your sense of self in that, which happens naturally with time, as you stop defining things that appear to you, the sense of you will also disappear because the sense of the subject you depends on continuously defining objects. So when you let go, when you surrender the descriptions of things, the meanings, the definitions, the labels, the ideas, the assumptions, the thought forms, all that, the context, the conditioning, every time you relax as deeply, as frequently, as pristinely, as profoundly as you possibly can over and over and over again, giving it all back to the wholeness of God which you've lost when you assumed that there was a subject and an object. When you created that split in the universe between me and that, this you between thou and that there is no separation except in the assumptions it appears to be but even the sensation of separation is appearing seamlessly from all other sensations so even the thought I am separate from this or I am this as opposed to that if you just witness it and you listen to it with that pristine openness you listen purely nakedly without description to it.
to the sense of separation as it appears to you while you're witnessing that sense of I am this instead of all of that. While witnessing that, if you listen without labels, you will see that even the sense of separation is not separate from the canvas of what is.